today I'm in a little India, which is a pretty popular neighborhood here in Singapore. It's a busy place, it's very colorful and it's very sketchable. And in today's video, I want to talk about urban sketching. Like what's the point of urban sketching and is the drawing or the sketch that you have drawn with the help of a reference photo considered an urban sketch? And the quick answer to that is no. And I will explain why later. One thing I enjoy about urban sketching is you get to discover new places. And even for places that you have been to a hundred times, those places will still look interesting when you are trying to find things to draw. Getting lost as an urban sketcher is not a bad thing unless you have no water or cell phone reception. And even back alleys can be inviting for a sketch during the day. Today is a really hot day, so why would anyone want to come out in the afternoon to walk around under the sun with so much traffic, so many people, noise, fumes? Well, a huge part of urban sketching is actually about the experience. And you don't get this when you are drawing at home. There are so many things to see when you are out on location, when you are walking around. And all these things are things that you cannot see from flipping through photos online. On the right side, we have Mustafa Center, which is a series of shopping malls alongside Elwi Road. And this is a very popular shopping mall and at this road junction there are many beautiful buildings with lots of details to draw and this one here is also very beautiful under the light and we have very beautiful shadows as well today many things can happen when you're outdoors and all those things that happen will become your experience for example as i was walking through this street i was stopped by two indians who wanted to take a photo or selfie with me probably because i look like a tourist and i was chased out of shopping malls before i was questioned by police i was given free drinks when i was sketching by the side of the road you can talk to any urban sketcher and they will have many stories to tell you oh look coconuts fresh coconuts for two dollar and fifty cents each if you're not confident sketching alone, you can always go sketch with a friend or two. And the urban sketching or the urban sketchers community is huge. I'm pretty sure you will be able to find a local chapter or a local group in your country or in your city or region. And sketching with friends is really fun. You can chit chat, you can inspire one another, you can check out their art supplies learn their techniques, learn from one another. The Urban Sketchers community is a very open and friendly and inviting community. I wonder why they hang the shells of crabs on plants here. Oh look, another beautiful back alley and this one has spiral staircases by the side of the buildings. And this is where I will tell you the difference between sketching from a reference photo versus sketching on location. So when you are using a reference photo, you can see the vertical lines for the buildings, they are tilted. So this is not an accurate representation of the scene. However, when you're sketching on location, this is pretty much what you will see. Let me just zoom out slightly. So the vertical lines should remain vertical and also during a bright and sunny day like this when you take a photo, chances are the camera will not be able to capture the shadow details very well but with your eyes you can see all the details. So there are many limitations with photos mostly due to the distortion that you get from camera lenses so if you move down like this if you move the eye level down you can see the vertical lines they are now tilted towards the center and usually when we are sketching we are usually seated down so this is the level we are usually drawing when you are outdoors you have the freedom to walk around you have the freedom to choose whatever you want to draw so if you don't want to draw the back alley you can draw the front of the building and if you don't want to draw this building, you can go inside the restaurant to draw the restaurant and the people eating there. Another back alley, and this one has so many air conditioning units by the side, and there is someone sleeping there. By the way, when you're out sketching, be very mindful of your surroundings, be mindful of traffic, 
uh, pickpockets, uh, be very careful about your own safety, especially if you are in a different country. And if you are traveling to a different country, it's always good to um, ask for some help from the local urban sketches because they will have many tips for you, many places for you to sketch. There are many in Singapore who think Singapore is boring because Singapore is a small island country. And Singapore is going to be boring if you choose to stay at home all the time. Ever since I started urban sketching, I have discovered so many new places. I have made so many new friends and I also became more confident with interacting with people. It's good practice to sketch outdoors because it can help you improve really fast because for every bad sketch that you make, you will start to scrutinize your mistakes and you will start to understand why you made those mistakes and how you can improve. And when you have friends around you, they can also give you pointers on how to improve. So I'm back here and this is the scene that I will sketch and I have to sketch very quickly because the sun is coming towards me. Let me show you the sketching tools that I have. This is the micro portable painter palette with six colors that I have selected. Two big tips for the watercolor sketchbook and the uniball air. This is going to be a challenging scene to draw because there are so many details and I'm not sure if I can fit the whole scene onto the sketchbook. And guess what? The car just parked in front of me. All right, here's the time lapse of my sketch. This was quite challenging to record because my tripod is short, it's not tall, so I had to tilt my sketchbook up so that the camera can record what I am drawing. By the way, if you guys enjoy watching urban sketching videos such as the one you're watching, do consider supporting me on Patreon to support my YouTube channel and the work that I do here. I really enjoy making urban sketching videos like this and Patreon is the platform where you can support your favorite creators by pledging a certain dollar amount per month. For example, if you pledge one dollar, it's the equivalent of watching a video 1000 times and that to me is huge support. This sketch is almost complete and as you can see, it's a very loose and sketchy sketch which took me maybe half an hour or 45 minutes to complete. The weather is not looking that great right now and it's going to rain any moment. So I will have to find another place to paint this sketch. And now I'm under the shelter. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that many things can happen when you're out sketching. Well, bad weather is one of those things. Okay, so now I have my palette on my small stool and my sketchbook here. Urban sketching is about sketching on location to capture what we see in front of us. So if you are sketching from a photograph, well, it's not really urban sketching because you are not on location. There's nothing wrong with sketching using reference photos. You can use photos for practice purposes to practice your techniques. The subject matter that you sketch can be an urban scene, but if it was not created outdoors, then it's not really urban sketching. So urban sketching is kind of similar to plein air painting where artists create their art outdoors. So if your art was created indoors, then it's studio art. Many of my tutorials were created indoors. So this is my sketch before adding the shadows and as you can see there are no shadows now because of the dark clouds so I will have to use my own artistic license to add the shadows but first I want to add some textures I like to add little dots on the road All right so here's the scary part painting the shadows and it's even more scary when you have no reference to work with because right now it's very cloudy. So I'm pretty sure the shadow um, is coming down this way. And I have a shadow here as well. This is very challenging to paint because I'm actually holding my phone recording this while painting at the same time oops 
there will be lots of oops moments. Make sure your pans are completely secured before you pour the water out. So one of my pans nearly fell into the drain. This is my completed sketch. As you can see, there are more details on the left side than on the right side because my view was blocked for the right side. And here's a closer look at the details. I can probably add more contrast at the bottom left here because the motorbike and the shops, um, the value there is kind of similar. So the motorbike doesn't really stand out against the background. And this is the main building. And here you can see there isn't much definition. I do not have my postcard markers with me, so if I have the markers, I will probably add more details here. I was quite lucky I brought two pens up because one was spoiled, so now I will have to go buy myself a new pen. But first, I'm going to have lunch over there at the Indian restaurant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys again. Bye!